Texas has plenty of hospital capacity. We have a solid supply chain of PPE, and many of our doctors and nurses have patients who desperately need medical treatment. Reaction is pouring in tonight to Governor Greg Abbott's plans to slowly reopen the Texas economy. Today, he issued three executive orders. The first establishes a new strike force of state leaders, doctors, and business experts who will make recommendations about the best way to safely reopen business in Texas. Another order relaxes his previous mandate that postponed all non-emergency surgeries. The last order approves a retail-to-go model where businesses can bring their employees back to work, but customers do not set foot in the door. It'll go into effect in one week. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark asked one business how much they think this move could help. Hemline sells women's clothing and has 29 stores, including this one in downtown Austin. Chief Operating Officer Katie Pierce says online orders only bring in so much revenue. It's hard. I mean, it's um, nothing compared to having foot traffic. She says having another option like customer pickup will be a huge lift. We're very excited to be able to also have them come pick up if they're comfortable doing that. In a move to restart Texas's struggling economy, Governor Greg Abbott will allow retailers to become to go. His order says all payments should be done over the phone or internet if possible with employees delivering purchased items to the customer's car. Because of the efforts by everyone to slow the spread, we're now beginning to see glimmers that the worst of COVID-19 may soon be behind us. It's a large step considering the ongoing debate in our country. Many believe opening the economy too early will compromise public health and lead to more coronavirus outbreaks. We asked Austin Mayor Steve Adler if he sees that same glimmer that Governor Abbott does. He said the risk with retail to go is the same as construction sites and grocery stores and that it depends how well people will protect themselves. It's a risk that can be, that can be mitigated very well if everybody in the store is free face covering. And while Pierce remains optimistic, she knows this step is far from the last one. This is going to be a long run back to probably a new normal first before we even get to what felt normal for retail. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. Governor Abbott's order also says retail employees should wash their hands after any interaction with customers.